guy's gonna be something. He's got potential, doesn't he? Yeah. Wow. Just destroyed the self-esteem of every comedian here tonight. But like I said, this show was gonna crescendo to the finale. Ladies and gentlemen, he works with kids. Yeah. <laughs> He's about to have a kid. And he is a big kid. Yeah. Ladies and gentlemen, please put your hands together for Mr. David Newman! Because two bus boys called that. <laughs> they got me on call. Fuck, man. <laughs> but, uh, you know, uh, there's a lot of going on in my life, you know, a lot of changes. I'm going with some big, some small. I'm trying new shit. Like, uh, I just realized that I like to pee sitting down, you know? <laughs> like, guys, like, seriously, like, we have to rethink our whole peeing policy and get past this whole, like, that's just for girls and shit. It's really good. I mean, think about it. It's very relaxing. It's very, very long day. You can sit down, take a piss. It's good. It's quiet. Take that moment, gentlemen, and, and reflect on your life. Like, where are you? Like, why are you sitting on this toilet? Don't think about it. Shit, it's really quiet. You know, when you're standing up, it's all loud. Like, like, who wants white noise when they're pissing? Really? Like, be mellow, mellow. Like, the one place I wouldn't do it, though, is when you're in the outdoors. You pop a squat in the wilderness, you end up getting fucked by a bear. Trust me. Trust me. Trust me. That motherfucker will sneak up on you. You want to go, oh, shit. I'm not even done. But the true advantage for me on sitting down and pissing is that I don't have to clean the toilet afterwards. I'm like, you know, the toilet seat. So I save on toilet paper, because nowadays the economy's bad, right? So you gotta cut corners when you can. I mean, that's the only reason I have this beard. <laughs> Not because it makes me look handsome or anything. Fucking razors are expensive, <laughs> shit. The only reason I buy them is because I gotta shave, because I get like hair up in my face like this. <laughs> like all up in here, like patchy and shit. If I didn't shave it, I'd look like one of those Mexican wolf boys, you see what I'm <laughs> And I'd be like a bald wolf boy, which is really fucked up. Fucking. Shit. You know, I used to be pissed about going bald. I used to be fucking really upset about that shit. But I spend less on shampoo now, so you know. It's all about perspective, you know what I'm saying? But I do spend more on sunscreen, so that's kind of a kind of, You know what I'm saying? Uh, You're a beautiful man, beautiful bald man. We're the next evolution of man, trust me. That motherfucker was hairy when he started and we just lose it because we don't need it anymore. Global warming, fuck. It's the evolution of man. That's right, you're looking at it. This is a new man. Right so I'm, I'm, you know, I'm cutting corners wherever I can. So unfortunately, I had to cancel all my porn site subscriptions. Because those fucking things get expensive. So I do the poor man's version and I just jack off to friends' pictures on Facebook. So. <laughs> <laughs> so make sure you add me after the show. <laughs> Some of you. <laughs> so yeah, so uh, you know, like I said earlier, I'm having a baby. This is my first whoa. Uh, I got you pregnant too, huh? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So this is my first kid. I'm having a baby. I'm really excited. So. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you. If only I can buy diapers with a plus. Thanks. Man. <laughs> that was your birthday present. <laughs> the funny thing is, I don't know how she got pregnant. Like really, I don't know how the fuck that happened. I mean, I wasn't wearing a condom, duh, you know. But she told me she was on the depot shot. So I looked it up. You heard of this, ladies? Is anybody on the depot shit? Yeah, she was like, no? I mean, yes, maybe. All right. <laughs> so I looked it up, 99% foolproof. 99%, right? So she wouldn't lie. Girls don't lie about birth control, right? Right? So I believe her. So there's only one thing it could be, right? She was on the shot, immaculate conception. <laughs> <laughs> 
Swear to God, you don't believe me? She's carrying the Messiah. My girl is carrying the next Messiah. Better believe, bow down right now, motherfuckers. That's right. That's how I do. That's how I do. I know it wasn't my sperm as much weed as I smoke. I know it wasn't my sperm. My sperm got like two tails and half a head and shit. My shit's confused. I got motherfuckers with a tail on each end and that shit's not going anywhere. Doesn't know where to go. Got two heads on the other end. It's fucking pulling at itself. I mean, my sperm was fucked up. With my luck, it's probably like the one fucking sperm that was swimming around for like months. That motherfucker just got tired and collapsed on the air. So I'm just like, I'm fucking lost. Where's everybody at? There was like a million of us. This is me. Like, fuck. <laughs> fucking beanbag. Just whoop. So that's the one that made it. That's the one that made it. Hey. Maybe. I'm still sticking to the immaculate conception shit. You know why? I'll tell you why. This is why I believe. Okay. We just moved in. We just got our new place. We lived down the way, Lasso Park. Yeah, right? I represent. Um, so we were looking for like months. This was, we started like early November into like late December. We were going place to place to place to place, and we're just getting turned out left and right, man. We're like Mexican Joseph and Mary. So like, <laughs> all we needed was like a fucking mule. You know, like, like, can I keep this in the garage? Right? What about my chickens? <laughs> Swear to God, man. Swear to God. I'm just trying to have my anchor baby. Come on, man. You know? Then I learned the truth about Joseph and Mary. Those motherfuckers had bad credit. That's why they couldn't get in anywhere. They don't tell you that shit in the Bible. They don't tell you that shit in the Bible. <laughs> I, I'd like to think that is because my dick is so big and that's how she got pregnant. The motherfucker just like went all up in there and shot the egg at like close, uh, close range, like bam, 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 bam. Just coated it in sperm, it was like not getting away. Unfortunately, I do not have a big dick. I do not. It's not little either, I mean, don't get me wrong. I got like, you know, the goalie like shit going on where it's not too big, not too little, right? It's like that, it's like that. Sheet, I promise that uh, thought I was gonna have to do this, but it looks like I'm gonna have to pull this out. Yeah. Just because I don't want you guys missing out on all the fucking gold I got, right? Yeah. Yeah, there you go, there you go. Yeah. So, yeah, I was talking about big dicks, right? That's what I was <laughs> I always lose, I always lose <laughs> track. I'm like, <laughs> I'm like man, big dicks, man. <laughs> you know what? Like, I'm okay with not having a big dick. You know, when I was younger, like, I wanted one. I wanted, like, like a big black dick, just like like a power dick, you know, like I'm fucking with that shit. Like, she grunts when it pisses. <laughs> like I can't even sit down with it. I'm fucking gonna fit. But I'm okay with it. You know why? Cause now that I watch like the big big porn, I start to feel bad for these guys. I do, I really do, I feel bad for him because he could probably only get like the head in, you know? Then she puts two hands on it, then he puts two hands on it, and there's still like six inches of exposed penis, man. It's fucked up. It gets cold. It gets ashy and shit. Like, it's fucked up. It's no fun. So me being the humanitarian that I am, I took it upon myself to help my well-endowed brothers out, and I've come up with a prototype for a dick snuggie. Oh. Yeah, it's a, pro <laughs> it's, it's a prototype. You know, I still gotta work some kinks out, so if you know any guys with big dicks, please send them my way. <laughs> so let me know, just let me know. <laughs> but who, who here bought a snuggie, really? Like, don't be shy. I'm not gonna make fun of you, I promise. Nobody? Raise your hands, I'll buy it. There you go. I'm not saying you bought it for yourself. You could have bought it for somebody, someone you hate. I mean, you know, it's a million dollar year. I mean, you know, it's not the smartest purchase in the world. You know, my girlfriend bought a snuggie. And a ShamWow, which to me doesn't make sense. 
because it's kind of the same thing. If you make a spill while you're wearing a, a Snuggie, just clean it up, right? And if you get a big enough shampoo, you just wrap yourself in it. <laughs> I, I'm a little smarter with my purchases, see? I bought a sham wow and girls gone wild. That's right. That's right. Except the ladies a little wild again. What the fuck? See, because the sham wow has the absorbency that I need to clean up the messes I make after watching girls gone wild. And I got a great deal because I got like five for one, which is great because after a while, the sham wow gets real crusty and just can't clean up like a mess. You guys know what I'm talking about. <laughs> that old shirt under the bed. Like, Hold on, baby. Oh, fuck. This shit hurts. It's like spiky now. I can't, I can't use it. It's like sandpaper. It sucks. <laughs> yeah, it sucks, man. Fuck. Um, so now that I'm having a baby, like, I I'm real sensitive to like a lot of baby shit I see on TV. So I've been watching like a lot of Teen Mom. You guys watch that Teen Mom shit? All that shit. That shit's... But this is the thing with Teen Mom, though. So I'm watching this shit, right? And I'm like, oh, so now, now that little white girls are having babies, it's fucking cool? Like, that's cool now? <laughs> like, Mexicans been doing that shit. All of a sudden, little white girls are having babies, and now it's fucking cool to do that shit. Nah, man, that's not right. This ain't nothing new. It's just like fucking Columbus discovering that this shit's been there. It's not the new world, man. So I'm like watching this, and I'm like, okay, where are my people? How come we're not getting represented? Careful what you wish for, folks. <laughs> Careful what you wish for. So I'm watching 16 and Pregnant, which is like the JV team mom. This is like the rookie hoes, you know? They're just like, they're not, they're not all the way there yet. They're just like, they're the, they're the second stringers. They're about to be moved up. So I'm watching this shit, and there's a Latino family on. I don't know if they were Mexican, because MTV doesn't put Mexicans on. It was probably like a Puerto Rican and Dominican. I've never seen like a real fucking Mexican on MTV. I don't know why. I don't know why. But that's for another day. So I'm watching this, I'm watching this Latino, young Latino woman having her baby, right? And like the fucking delivery room is packed with people. It's like moms and tias and sisters and just like fucking party, right? And everybody's filming this shit. The sisters got like the phone all up in the cooch, like, ooh! Like this bitch don't got a diploma, but she got an iPhone. What the fuck? I'm like, so I'm watching this, you know what? I will not be outdone. I will not be outdone. So I sat down. And I started putting together my birth plan. See? That's a lingo I learned in Lamont's class. <laughs> birth plan is a plan for when you're having birth. That's what I learned. $90. 90 fucking dollars. <laughs> like, can I get a pack of diapers too on the way out? Like, you just... Okay. So I sat down, and I got my birth plan together, and I said, all right, this is what we're going to do. My girl's going to be here. I'm going to be in the back. I'm going to be behind her, supporting her, because I don't want to see that shit. I don't. I'm going to see the baby one. I'm not trying to look at the bloody mess that's going to be going on. So I'm going to be back here supporting her. You know, rooting around like, baby, you're doing great. You want some ice chips? You're right. You're good. You're good. Okay. I'm going to have the fucking mariachi right over here. All the mariachi fucking singing. I'm going to have the guy doing raspados right over here in this corner. Can you guys let the white folks know what I'm saying? It's a snow cone. 50 cents. I'm gonna have the jumper in the back for all the kids that my tia's bringing. My cousin's bringing like five just, just herself, so I need something to entertain them. And I have the guy with the cotton candy on the stick just fucking walking down the hall back and forth, making some extra money. That's right. I got my shit laid out. And once that little bastard comes out, we're gonna fucking celebrate. We're gonna fucking celebrate. That's right. That's right, you're all welcome. My uncle's bringing the grill, and we're barbecuing that placenta. I swear to God, we're making some tacos, bacon wrap. And that's how I'm having my baby. Hey, I'm David Nunez, yo. David Nunez, everybody. Check this out, guys. The show is now completed, but if you guys can do this, there is ref.